In this video, we're going to look at short term changes in sentiment and why it's so powerful, why we need to be watching it as traders. Stay tuned. Hey guys, a very warm welcome to you. So this is happening quite a lot and it's something that is well worth putting into a video. Short term changes in sentiment. By short term, I mean kind of it can be within a day or it can be within a couple of day period. And what I mean by this is you have an explosive move in one direction that literally is undone and almost completely re, 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 you know, re, re, re undone or rewound or um, reversed is the word I'm looking for in literally a couple of days. So you have that one day extension and the second day just undoes it all. And why is this important as traders and why should we be looking out for this? Now this happens on currencies, it's happening on the indices, happening a lot on stocks. Um, I just want to talk through the psychology of it first so that we can kind of understand why it's so important. It's something I look for and I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite kind of filters to, 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 to um, you know, present more trading opportunities. So the theory is, listen, we've got a massive supply demand imbalance. We've got push price pushing one direction. Great example here with US dollar CAD. You know, pushing. Uh, we've had you know one solid day where it's broken out and it's pushed to highs and even continuation on the next day. And it looks for all the world like it's doing one thing. It's off to blast the races. You'll have a lot of retail jumping on it. A lot of people jumping on it, assuming that's what's going to happen. Assuming that we're going to keep going. Assuming it's the bottom. Assuming it's a breakout. All the classical things. And then the next day, it only undoes the whole thing. But ultimately, the day, actually over a three-day period in this case, it just ends up you know, reversing all of those gains and more. And the reason this is so powerful, guys, is that there's a lot of people are involved in this. A lot of people are waiting for it. A lot of people are, are kind of stuck from before and they see it as an opportunity to get out. A lot of people are jumping. There's loads of reasons why people are, are kind of involved in this. And then when it undoes that what's perceived as strength, in this example, in one day, the next day, it just throws people's minds out the window. It just says, I'm just confused. I'm stuck. I don't know why I should be doing this. It was really, really strong yesterday. It's undoing it all. And then they've obviously got all their stops below that position low, and it's causing the momentum to the downside. And we get this time and time again. If I look at Euro US dollar, you know, we have the same kind of thing, which is, you know, real good strength and aggression, and then a complete reversal, you know, complete reversal. And this is purely purely because you have all the buyers and sellers pushing one direction one thing now obviously if we have a reprice situation you can have a continuation this can carry on and we had an example with the yen you know last year whatever it was when broke out just continued on and on of course but majority of the time when we have these extreme moves you've got to watch out for extreme move in the other direction especially if that extreme moves is against the grain you know if it's against the overall kind of trend of the market then you know, be very wary that the next day may well just completely upset the apple cart, completely t take people by surprise. And the reason that it does this is because, listen, if you're in a big uptrend, you get a big movement in against the uptrend. That is basically the reason you've got the uptrend is you've got a sort of longer term supply demand imbalance, right? A lot more demands coming in than supply is hitting it. And you're getting people paying and paying higher and higher and higher price. They perceive more value, more value, more value, more participants are willing to pay up, that kind of thing. If you get an extreme down move one day caused by whatever it is, macro, um, you know, it could be something to do with stock, whatever it may be, then that is advertising to longer term players as saying, hey, you're getting a discount, you know, a decent discount, you're getting the same price you could have got last week. It's only a small fund, it's not really a big change, it's a small thing. All of a sudden, it, the alert goes out to all these people who had been buying maybe progressively and very, very steadily accumulating for whatever reason, it doesn't matter, doesn't, doesn't, don't care. Now they say, hey, listen, you can get a price you could have got a week ago. All of a sudden, you know, because of that supply demand imbalance, they say, hey, you know what, um, the short term traders have given an opportunity here because it's gone to the downside. I'm gonna accelerate my buying and be very aggressive the next day because I think we can literally buy a good chunk of stock or a good chunk of futures or a good chunk of 
a spot whatever it may be currency and we're still only where we were we were buying some kind of a few days ago so that's the sort of fundamental reason behind that kind of v-shape aggression that we often get is that if the larger longer term supply demand <clears throat> excuse me is in play then that's exactly what we see and especially again especially when it's counter trend and it's against the grain when it's against the move you see that big sort of move against the grain that's when we can look and say yeah you know what i'm going to be careful and we get it a lot in crude oil as well we get this kind of table i call them tabletop patterns where you know they they push up um in fact there's one here there's one here there's one here um you know there's, there's a little one kind of he oh here's one here you know you get this kind of step scenario push up aggression step and then down and then push down step and you get this kind of pattern where people are always chasing and chasing and the key is is this is just a broad kind of reminder to look out for this but the key is to look at the market you're trading and see hey has it done this previously if it has be wary of it if you're chasing the long be wary of it if you're looking for the short say okay this is the sort of market i want to get involved in with it and looking at the, the history of the markets give you clues as to whether this is going to continue or not. And just a final thing is if you do get that burst of momentum against the trend, then why not wait and see how the price responds? If this price responds favorably and it congests and then it tries again, then maybe you're okay for a long. But rather than jumping straight on that and saying this is it's definitely going to be the reversal and then seeing it coming back and being, you know, kind of stopped out and, and disheartened by the whole thing, just let it exhibit one more kind of proof. You have to pay up a little bit for it, appreciate that, but just let it prove itself a little bit more before diving in and getting caught out on that kind of tabletop or V-shaped reversal, whatever you want to call it. All right, guys, um, good trading. Keep the risk managed. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.